All right. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening, students. Welcome to the second session of your handwritten notes and your MCQs. All right. So as mentioned, I have already done the video earlier. Let me take the controls. That is FN and F11. All right. I have already taken this video last time. That was series one. Now, again, I'm uploading the second part of the notes. So here, as you all know, CBSE has released your curriculum or the complete syllabus for your 2022 or 2023 and 24 correct so as promised i'll be sending the handwritten notes and mcqs line by line in crt let's start off so we very well know this is the syllabus which is given or the prescribed by the cbsc.nic.in in the academic section right so you have only 10 chapters again as mentioned i have done all the chapters 16 chapters of your grade 12 grade 11th also done, 10th also done. So watch the detailed videos for classroom sort of explanation. Now it's our time to write the notes and study and get 70 out of 70. Let's start. So in the previous session, what did I do? Students, I have done or I started with a topic called strength of solutions, correct? So strength of, so if somebody asks you a solution is there, how do you determine the strength? I have told you already in series one, I have shown you the numericals based on mass percentage, volume percentage, mass by volume, parts per million also. Now, mole fraction also done. Now we are going to study the numericals based on molarity. Yeah. And few numericals based on mole fraction also I'll be doing. So let's start. So here, there are certain important thing. Remember, students, these are all handwritten. And I request all of you to just go through the previous video also. Now, there's one question which is asked in 2018, 2015 also. What is molarity? So for that, four options are given to you. And along with that, you have the formula. So four options given. You learn the formula. You can tick the answer directly. This is the simplest question. Gradually, if I take or if we take this question, they've asked you molarity. What is molarity units? So you very well know if you know the units or if you know the formula, you can directly write the units. Mole per liter. Easy. It's a direct question. So from there, gradually we go into a numerical. Yes. So see this question, students. It's a little go above. So that's easy for you. Okay. So this is a question which is asked where they've asked or they asked you. So two molar solutions obtained when 0.5 molar or mole of solute. So to prepare two molar solution, you're adding 0.5 moles of solutes. So how much is a thing obtained? Four options are given to you here. So what did I do? I have taken the formula, directly applied and got the answer. There's one more question. Okay, 35th question. So what did I do here? This question directly I have given you the answer. But what? where is the question? I want you to prepare a question. So always students remember question given, writing the answer is easy. But from the answer, preparing a question is your skill. Try this. Okay. Now gradually from there, I took you into one more question. That is they're asking you number of moles present in 2 liter of 0.5 sodium hydroxide. Same. It's easy. Direct application of the question and getting the number of moles. Then after that, there's one more question. One molar solution contains. What is one molar solution? One molar solution, whenever somebody asks, it is nothing but one liter of solution. So when I take gradually into some more numericals, just see. This is one numerical where they're asking to find the molarity of the ions. So you have HCl in the solution. They are ca calcium chloride also. So they're asking you to find the molarity of chloride ions. So the question is here and the procedure I've used the dissociation concept and I use the formula again and applied the question and got the answer. There's a different variety of question again where they're asking you what is the volume? Okay, let's see. Basically, they may ask you volume concept. They may ask you molarity concept. They may ask you mole concept. Correct. These are all different varieties. So in this question, when they've asked you the molarity concept or the volume concept, I've used the formula. You all tell me what is this formula? Yes, it is dilution law formula. So I've used the dilution law formula and found out the volume. From there, gradually, they may ask you sums which will be based on. Yes, easy. What is the molarity? Direct question again. So it, uh, no, learn the formula, apply it in the particular question and get the answer. From there, I'm gradually going into one more question. Nothing but what is the molarity of the resultant solution? Simple as that. 
molarity only but here in few questions direct uh, uh, information is given in few questions they have asked your they have told you dilution it is diluted so so much what should i do easy applying the formula and finding it out question may be difficult but concept is the same from the gradually i am taking into one more question what is molarity easy again direct substitution into the formula but remember to write the units m capital m does denotes mole per liter then gradually they have asked me a question where they have asked you to find the weight all right easy formula is there with me i can apply it and find the weight correct because in molarity formula mass by molar mass into volume into thousand is already there perfect then gradually i have taken into one more question here in this this is the different possibilities they have asked you find the number of iodide atoms i told you no different atoms like ions they may ask you atoms they may ask you the mole concept so i have taken the formula applied it i have compared it to one mole atom and got the answer right easy check this question from there gradually i have taken in you all into a question which says how many grams of hcl all right so grams same i have i took the formula of molarity and applied it to this particular thing so important thing to remember here is if you know the molarity formula you can apply it in any way any concept mass you can calculate volume you can calculate ions weight you can calculate all right gradually i went and took into a sum where they have asked me to calculate the volume of no not volume they have asked me to calculate the volume of ethyl alcohol that has to be added yeah it's asked volume but density is given to me so i took the formula the where you have volume related and then applied in the question and then finally took the substituted in the formula and finally i got the answer got it easy so there may there may be certain questions where they ask you volume also density also this is an all india in uh, in institute of medical sciences question easy question nothing is there in this only thing is molarity so took the question solved it using the formula yeah go through it same once i know the concept i can easily apply from there after taking this question i have one done one more possibility of the question that is nothing but find the initial volume and final volume means i again used one more question using dilution law dilution law and molarity i have calculated and done it done perfect so finally i am winding up with the molarity questions it's a direct question they have asked you if one mole of a substance is present in 1 kg oh yeah this is nothing but your molarity question correct so what is that if 1 kg is present it is called molal solution or molal concentration yes students all right so with this we have completed maximum possibility of the molarity questions in my next video i'll be meeting you with questions like molality vapor pressure stay connected please share the video thank you so much for watching bye bye